All right guys, even though there are wasps flying around in there, I really need a good thumbnail. So I'm going in, I'm gonna try to get my face as close to the nest as possible. Whoa, there we go. This is a perfect example of a yellow jacket. Stand, stand, no! Go back in. Before you continue the video, I wanted to let you know that I just released a song. It's gonna be the first song for my artist name, Masland, which is actually my middle name. I'm really excited. This song means a lot to me. I think it's really catchy too. It would mean a lot if you checked it out. I'm not famous or anything, so you guys are pretty much my only chance to get this song out there and for it to make a difference. So we finally found a yellow jacket nest. Even though it got crazy. That's insane. We caught it, we captured the queen, we took out the nest, and we caught a lot of workers with it. Here's the thing though, we have to relocate them quickly because as you guys can remember, this was full of very energetic, worker yellow jackets and now just because they got a little bit of heat I didn't get them in the cool quick enough a lot of them have actually died sadly this isn't the end of the world the queen is still alive and that's what matters the most the nest is actually hatching workers as we speak little guys are hatching out of the nest so these guys will be replaced. It's a bummer that a lot of them died, but it actually will make it easier to relocate them. Now, as you guys remember, I prepared this habitat just for an opportunity like this. Down here, I have a little cooler. This thing will go 24 seven and keep it cool. I also have a fan there that just keeps the air circulating. So hopefully, in this environment, it will be optimum temperature and humidity for these wasps. Right there on the nest is the queen. Look at the size of her compared to some of the workers. That's insane. So the first thing we're gonna do is take her and the workers off of their nest so that we can secure the nest on. Now you guys can see here, these are workers that are freshly hatched. There weren't any workers on the nest when I first put it in here. That's crazy how quickly they multiply. There's the queen. She's so fat, she can't plow. Oh my goodness. Fat, she can't. Ah! Okay. Oh, one tried to sting me just now. It is aggressive. It's trying to get on the other side of this screen. Nope, nope, don't do it. Oh crap. Oh my gosh, it's trying to sting the net right there. Ha! It just stung me on my finger in my, the top of my hand right here. I, that is pain. I hope she's okay. Okay, thankfully the queen seems okay, even though things got a little out of hand just now. As you can see, we're keeping this environment 75 degrees. That's a really good temperature. Apply some hot glue to the back of this thing so that we can secure the nest really well on the wall. We're securing it on the wall right here. Bam. Look how good that looks just sitting there right in the middle. I hope that's a good place for it. Comment below if you think it is or not. Piece number two. Bam. Like a piece to the puzzle. In a few days, these things will be so aggressive they'd attack me from a foot away. That's crazy. I just noticed right here, this white cap that's the head of a worker that's about to hatch out right there it is time to introduce the queen to her new home her old nest there it is bam you like your new home girl she seems to be at home right now there she is want some honey why don't you want some honey it's good stuff he's like ah, i do not want diabetes Honey doesn't give you diabetes, are you crazy? Oh, there we go, she's eating it. Oh, she loves it. I knew she'd like it. There it is. That'll give her some necessary energy. Now for maybe the most dangerous part of this whole thing. Honestly, they're not flying around as much as I thought they would, so I'm just gonna open the door back up. Introduce them back to their nest, one by one. There you go, dude. Here's your queen. Nice. It just got reintroduced to its nest and it seems like it's going straight toward the larva and taking care of it. It's pretty cool. And there's another one. Honestly? Oh, please don't sting me. Okay. I do not trust these things, okay? 
Honestly though, if they weren't so aggressive, they're quite cute. Oh, it's stinging the stick. Golly. There we go. Now it's on the nest. Come on. Oh my goodness, she's mad. There you go. Come on. Ah! Okay. There we go. Nice. You're home. I do not want to get stung today. Mademoiselle, come on. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. We have a flyer. We're just gonna leave her alone. She seems like she has a, her own agenda to take care of. It's pretty cool that we already have some foragers that are flying around and I already see them exploring and then coming back to the nest. I feel so dumb. I thought the queen was like dying because she was acting super weird. And then I poked her. I realized I think she's laying an egg. So I literally poked her while she's trying to give birth, which is really not the right response, I feel. The amount of eggs that are being created inside of her, she almost constantly has to lay eggs. All right, guys, even though there are wasps flying around in there, I really need a good thumbnail. So I'm going in, I'm gonna try to get my face as close to the nest as possible. Whoa, there we go. This is a perfect example of a yellow jacket. Stand, stand, no! Go back in. Go away. Go away. I need to get I need to get a thumbnail. I need a YouTube thumbnail. All right, here we go. Please don't sting my face. Oh, this one's mad. Oh, he sees me. I don't know if it's even in focus. Please do not sting my face. I hope this is a good thumbnail. You guys tell me, did you see this thumbnail? Did it work? 